More powerful than Roborock and more affordable than most other robot vacuums with laser navigation, we're always on the hunt for the sweet spot of these gadgets, and here's another worthy contender, a new brand with an excellent robotic vacuum, the first model by MOVA. Let's inspect! Hey everybody, how are you doing? My name is Michael, nice to meet you here. And as usual, we are inspecting Cooltech today with a device which I can say it's probably the best in its price niche. And I know you're probably sick of hearing from YouTubers and reviewers that something is really the best for all the money. But think about it, 4000 Pascal section power, which is um, almost unthinkable for $300 or Euro or whatever the price is at the moment. And I think it's totally worth your attention. It's a brand new company and it's their very first device, so I believe they have put a lot of effort into making something truly great. So I'm presenting you the MOVA L600. I still can't believe that's possible, but it apparently is. So this is MOVA, it's a new high-end innovation brand by Dreamy, a company part of the Mi ecosystem, and earlier this year I've reviewed the D9 robot, which was also a fantastic and unbelievably good for the price choice. This here is even better. So, as we usually do, we're starting with a comparison. The overall package here that you get for the money against the most similar competitors. This is extremely aggressive pricing and I don't think right now the company makes any profits at all. I think all that they want is to make a point that this is a reliable and great working device. And you know that usually devices like that are extremely successful, just as it used to be with Roborock a few years ago. Thing is that now it's much harder to make a breakthrough because the market is full of brands, but I think that MOVA have all that it takes to make great robot vacuums. To prove all of that, unboxing. How to deny the similarity with more premium Xiaomi brands? I had deja vu during the whole time, so nice welcome message, user guide and the documentation. Then comes the mop and after taking everything out, here's the MOVA L600. It's dark and glossy. One of the very few entirely black robot vacuums out there. Somehow the white color has become a standard, but there always is some room for a stylish black device like this one. It's glossy and takes fingerprints, but due to the color that's hard to notice most of the time. Also, it doesn't seem to get too many scratches, and in case the robot gets dirty, it won't be as obvious as with some white vacuums. Color is not the most important though. Let's take a quick look at the bottom side. The wheels, nice flex. The brush with this nice concept from the past year and a half, having removable edges so that you can easily get rid of the hair. Easy access to the dust box. It's actually pretty large, rated at 570 milliliter capacity. That's above the industry average. But don't get lazy because of that and make sure to clean it regularly. Since I already am talking about specs, let me cover the rest. 4000 Pascal suction power, 5200mAh battery, LDS navigation system, bunch of protective sensors, 2cm obstacle crossing, water tank with 270ml capacity, electronically controlled, zone cleaning, Wi-Fi and smartphone app, high precision maps and noise level of just 65 decibels. If the last few sentences sounded like Suahili, I've got a much simpler version, it's more powerful than any other vacuum robot I've tried has really large battery, letting it clean spaces up to 250 square meters, and is very smart because you can say, Alexa, turn on MOVA. The robot is starting the cleanup. And the MOVA L600 starts to clean. But we know that even the best specs mean nothing if there are design or other performance flows. So let us do some testing. And let me show the L600 in action because that's the only way to find the true performance. For flat surfaces like wooden floors, there's no doubt it does a great job and this is anyway something that each and every 2021's robot should be good at. Let's simulate a task where larger debris has to be collected. Here's a test with collecting 60 grams of spilled rice. Good opportunity to see the LDS in action together with the cleaning algorithm. And it doesn't disappoint, quite the opposite. I've used the normal section mode for this one and I'm quite happy to see that it collected 59 out of 60 grams. Looks like even larger pieces won't be a trouble for the MOVA vacuum, so at this point it continues to be great. You can see that even a mixture of smooth stroke plastic pieces mixed with flour and cereal are not a big issue. Let's try its performance with carpets. 
The Dreamy D9 had some very minor challenges with thick carpets, so I was curious how the MOVA device handles that. Looks to be perfect, didn't get stuck during the cleaning cycles that I've tried, and since it has the right kind of sensors, once it senses a carpet underneath, it triggers the powerful mode. The only true challenge left now is the wet mopping. It traditionally is something that has never been great with vacuum robots until we've tried the Viomi series because of their Y-shaped cleaning algorithm. Well, unfortunately, it's not present with the Movo L600, but at least there's consistent performance and satisfactory results given the system used. We have here the more traditional kind of water tank, however, it has intelligent electronic control which is responsible for the water disposal. Concerning the rest of the functions, the Movo robot handles them pretty well. Spot cleaning, return to home and auto recharge, bunch of anti-collision and anti-drop sensors. I didn't discover any problems at all. And you know which is the best part? This is the best part. It's the smartphone app and yes, this is a map with the map editor, the option to select no-go zones, the option to select areas to be cleaned. And it took me literally 30 seconds to discover the robot vacuum in the Mi Home app and get it cleaning ready. Network connected successfully. So yeah, I was quite grateful to see the Mi Home app being utilized because it's cloud-based and I've been using it for many years now in order to control other smart home devices. It's stable, it's full of features and, well, it can automate a lot of things. Also, there's easy way to link Alexa, so at least from my point of view, this vacuum cleaner ticks all the boxes that at least I'll be looking for in case I decide to choose a new one. But there also are some minor drawbacks. There's no easy to navigate it, no function for giving directions inside the app. Instead, you can use sections on the map. Speaking of maps, no faulty floor maps yet. And no Y-shaped mode for web mopping, but none of these mentioned is really a deal breaker and something that you should really be concerned about. So if you ever see this body for like 300, 350, even 400 dollars, I think it's totally worth it given the specs, given the great performance and uh, the software implementation. I think in terms of qualities it's a very good competitor even to Roborock S5 and S5 Max and even the S6. Well, probably not as good as Roborock S7, clearly, <laughs> but for $300, 4,000 pascals real suction power is quite amazing. And also, Dreamy, as a company which owns Mova, has been for long enough supervision under Xiaomi to guarantee really good quality and properly working software, which we have proven throughout this video that is absolutely stunning through the Mi Home app. And that's been everything about today's episode. First of all, thanks a lot for staying with me until the end. Now, if you would like to share your opinion, then use the comments below. I would like to hear from you what you think about the MOVA L600. And maybe we can carry on the conversation there. If you want to buy it, then check for the links in the description below the video. And that's been everything. And Michael, it's been such a great pleasure. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit the like, subscribe to the channel for more cool tech inspections. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.